everyone, it's Tanny Games here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back with a plaza tour. So I've redecorated my plaza. I've tried to go for kind of like a, a bit of a fairy core aesthetic. Um, but I really wanted to um, keep a couple of the buildings like Remy's and Scrooge's so the plaza I felt was really really difficult because I had to mix these buildings in with like some of the kind of fairy core aesthetic and I just found that kind of difficult um, so we're gonna start here for the start of the tour um, I love this little walkway down it does then go into the meadow which my meadow is is not decorated so ignore this but i just love this walkway i think it's really really pretty um and then we have a couple of these hercules arches and we have one going to the left and one going to the right um i'll go left because i think the left side is less aesthetic than the right so as we come down the left we have this structure in front of us we have a pathway to the right and a pathway to the left um if we have a look we have this stone stepping section this leads to my portal um i'm not sure how i feel on this i actually copied this idea with this pathway underneath the portal from um judith um because she used one of these types of pebble pathways um and yeah i thought i could try and make it aesthetic and pretty and it's not it's not turned out the way i want it to so i do want to change this but i'm not quite sure how um if you have any creative ideas for how you've decorated your portal aesthetically please feel free to share them in my discord um i'd love to be inspired by your creative ideas and then as we come down on the right a little bit more, I have this little section here uh, with a little harp. Um, I thought it might be cute to have like a little music-y kind of section, but I don't have as much space as I thought. And then in these side bits, I just put these benches. Um, I wanted to do something with them and I kind of wanted to have the bench on this backside so that when you looked in the bench was there um, but unfortunately you know what game loss like the sizing does not work out I can I either have it to the left or to the right there's like one square difference so um, it didn't work out the way I wanted and then we come down here and I've got another archway to lead into the meadow um, I've decorated with a lot of these, uh, what are they called? The vine flower lamps and also the cherry blossoms. I love the cherry blossoms because I love that they're animated. I wish we had more floral elements that were like that. And then coming around here, we have uh, a fountain. And then in this section, I did have a chair, but I, I, I don't like using out uh, indoor chairs outdoors. So... <laughs> <laughs> I um I did remove that quite quickly actually I couldn't live with it <laughs> um so eventually I might put some seating area there I just need to decide which seats oh, go no um such. coming down this walkway we come to this fountain and then we do also have a seating area here I do need to do something with this some sort of decorating it's it's a bit bland um but it's really hard to decorate in this tiny little space um, maybe I could have used with bringing this whole structure forward a little bit. Um, I don't know. But yeah, I, I do like this structure. I like how it kind of almost looks like a building. I think that's kind of cute. And then to the left, we've got a bit more decoration. I have put a couple of these starlight projectors around because I do like the glow they make. I think I might add in a few more. Um, and here we've got Remy's with a couple of these... Uh, ancient flowering trees outside the front to the left we have a seating area for remy's i did still want to do like an outdoor dining area for remy's but i wanted to keep it cute and i couldn't decide uh which of the chair setup i liked i liked these uh light pink chairs because i felt like they were really kind of how do i say bland without saying bland <laughs> like they just blend in they're very they're very light they're not very in your face and noticeable so i think they blend in well with remy's if that makes sense um 
And then I also tried these chairs because I think they kind of look cute. I like the rose detailing on them um, and stuff like that. And then I also tried these as well because of the kind of like mix of the golds and stuff. I, d I just wasn't too sure. So I might change this seating area up so that they're all matching. But I just couldn't decide which looked better. So um, if you want, leave a comment down below. Which of the chairs do you like best? Do you like these light pink ones? Do you like these rose chairs? Or do you like the red ones? I'd be intrigued to see what you think. Um, I also have lined this walkway with the lanterns. I love the lanterns. I think they're so, so beautiful. Um, I did think about using the lanterns all over the plaza but i was worried it would look a bit too much so i did it as this little walkway down to the back of remy's with this uh little blanket seating area i think it kind of looks cute I, I i do think maybe i could do something else with this area maybe if i have a rejig of some of the spaces i can move this seating area to where i i said i wanted to put a seating area in place and we could just have the blankets there um but then i'd need to think of something to do at the back here um coming around here we have another uh fountain i've got a lot of fountains and another vine flower lamp and uh the cherry blossoms so now we can come back to the right side and this side is my favorite um i actually if we come through here this setup was basically a setup that i used for my uh dream snap my ancient aesthetics um but i actually um when it came to the ancient aesthetics i i had a couple of different setups like i had uh the eric statue here this flower thing wasn't here so i did change that um i think i just changed the positioning of a couple of things and i did remove the vine walls that were behind there i love this little section this section is my absolute favorite this is kind of the vibes that i wanted across the entirety of the plaza but i just I don't know do you ever find that when you're building and creating you do one area that's like super cute and like you love it and then it's just hard to transition that all over the plaza or the area that you're decorating um at least that's the issue i have um oh god i've got myself stuck <laughs> um coming round we have a bit more just regular foliage a vine flower lamp and stuff like that i would like to maybe get a few more flowers in here especially the illuminated ones um coming round here we've got another fountain i do love this fountain i think it's very very pretty and then uh we actually have a path going up to the sunlit plateau and another one of those starlight projectors um coming around this side we've got another pathway which leads down here and i'm just now realizing i don't have an archway on this side i'm not entirely sure why i should do um so i'll need to get that fixed <laughs> and then coming up here we have some more foliage and everything like that and then coming around the back of Scrooge's, I actually um, set this up as like little valuables, like the gold stack, these golden like vases and stuff like that, the clocks, um, this mirror which you get from Beast's quest line and stuff like that. I just thought it tied in well to kind of like Scrooge's aesthetic and I really wanted to do something that kind of linked to him. Um, so that's why I put all the kind of like gold and things like that over here. I did want to move this gold into a different position, but unfortunately, if I move it, I do block some of the pathway and I don't want to do that. I want to be able to walk around and everything like that. And then you come around here and you get to Scrooge's, um, which I've just got a couple of these candelabras. So yeah, this is my plaza. Um, as I said, there's a couple of little tweaks that maybe I'd like to do eventually. I'd love to put a seating area back in there. And I would like to fill up this space a bit more with flowers and stuff. But um, overall, I'm really liking the aesthetic of it. I think it turned out really, really well. Um, definitely the kind of like fairy core vibes that I wanted for my plaza. And I think I've managed to work it quite well with the like 
the very city core kind of structure of the buildings because that was always my main concern was kind of getting that very core cool aesthetic whilst the buildings looked so unfairy core cool, if that makes sense so i'm quite happy this turned out well um let me know in the comments down below what you think of this i hope you enjoyed this little plaza tour um if you have any other great ideas feel free to leave a comment in the uh, comment section and uh so anyone who likes this video comments thank you so so much and to all my subscribers and my members thank you you all mean the world to me and uh i guess i'll see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>